In this tutorial, we're going to look at using an unbound combo box to not only control a subform but also a secondary subform where you can show the first name and last name. So let's get underway. This tutorial is built on a previous tutorial, and I'll put links in the comments below to that tutorial to actually show you how to create a combo box and then have it control the subform. But what we want to be able to do is not only have that but also show what the student's name is. So in the pull down list, we can actually see like Leon Marsden. But what I would like is a couple of fields next to it here to actually show me the name. So as I select the student ID, the information comes up here as well. And to do this, we're going to use another subform. So we've got one subform here where the student ID links to the parent, and this and this combo box is the parent of this subform. And we're going to create another subform where it's also going to be a parent of that subform. So as this changes, not only will the subform here adapt, so will the subform up here. So what we need to do is actually create a subform. So to do that, we're going to go up to students and I'm going to create a new form. So I'm just going to create and form wizards. And we want to select the first name, the last name, and I'll put in student ID, click on next. What we want to see is a tabular view. This will give us the names going down, click on next. I'm going to change the name to SFRM student info and click on finish. Now we can actually see that layout. I'm just going to quickly go into the design and I want to adjust the design while I'm here. So first thing I'm going to do is actually remove these headers which are the labels and I'm going to collapse the header up so there's no gap. So it just gives us these two forms. I'm also going to remove the student ID. Now I'm going to save that with a command S or control S and now I'm going to go back into this design of the student enrollment, so make sure you're in design view, which I'm in, and then I can bring the subform up and put that into the form here. So let's just run this. So you can actually see that it's Leon Marsden, and if we change it, we can see it's changed to Rick. So let's go back into the design and make it look a little bit nicer. At the moment it's fairly large and you can see the new record, so I'm just going to close the properties at the moment. Click on the tab, just shrink this down a little bit to remove the space. So when it runs now, you can just see the one or the couple of fields. So let's go back into the design form again. Let's remove some of the information that's on here, so we're going to go into properties. So if we select the form itself, we can actually come in and change some of the controls. So what we want to do is remove the record selector, change that to no, change the navigation to no, we dividing line to no, scroll bars we can set to no, neither, control box we can have no, close button also on no. So now we can save that, go command S and we'll just run it. You can now see we just got the form information up the top here. So we'll go back into the design view. And we'll just remove the top part by just go by selecting that, hold down the shift and click and go command X. And then we can move this into a better position at the moment. While the form at the moment is fairly big, we're just gonna we're just gonna adjust that by bringing this down and we're gonna collapse some of the field size. So what I'd like to do is remove the scroll bars off the first name. So I'm just going to select the field and then I'm going to go in and go down to scroll bars, which is at the top here. It's got vertical and I'm just going to change that to none. So now when it runs, we should not have a selector on there. So now all we have to do is just close that up once more by going into the design view, shrinking the field down. And when the form runs now, you can see the name. And you can just work with the cosmetics of that. So as we select different people, their names come up there. So we have a combination box controlling two subforms. And you can have a third, fourth, etc. So this is where you've got a central point of query and forms physically working with the child master of that. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. So give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also have a look around my channel, other useful databasing tutorials. And I wish you all the best in your database development.